you friends so today we are going to make this cute dollar tree pillow oh my gosh i am so excited about this one guys look how adorable let's get started Okay, so for this project, you are going to need one of the Dollar Tree canvas bags. Doesn't matter what's on the front, and because we're going to be turning it inside out, you're going to need your design. Now, this is, this you can use. I uh, printed this out on a HTV vinyl, and I'm going to heat press it on. But you could use regular vinyl and use it as a stencil and paint it. You could print it out and, and use that as a stencil, you know, print it out. And um, on the back, you know, the old trick where you... Um, color all the, the whole picture with um, a pencil and then you outline it so that it transfers do that whatever you can buy a stencil it can say anything i just did a monogram i thought that'd be really cute but it can say home sweet home it can say anything it can be a picture whatever right so please guys i say this in all my videos but do not think that you have to have a vinyl cutter or a heat press or any of that to be able to do these projects almost all the projects i do you can do without one of those I am telling you, if you are watching this video, you're already doing Dollar Tree crafts, so you're already on a budget, you're already frugal, you're already crafty, you can do this without spending a bunch of money, you really can't. So anyway, that's my soapbox for that, as always, because um, I get a lot of questions and I just don't want you guys to feel like you have to have all this fancy equipment just to be able to do these crafts, you, you can do it without. I have some batting that I had left over from a another uh, project or an or pillow or whatever. And so I just keep like um, hitting this little Dollar Tree bag. And then I do have a pair of scissors. And I will, you will also need either um, a couple options here a needle and thread, hot glue, sewing machine fabric binding that you know uh, the iron on the like the no sew stuff something to basically enclose your pillow all right the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our scissors and we are going to cut off the straps so I'll be right back okay so i cut the strips off of my bag and i usually just save these because these make really cute like handles for something else or a little um canvas bow or anything like that so i just save those toss those over and now you're just going to turn your bag inside out. Okay. So now you have a couple options because you can have some buzz here. Um you can take out the seams and you could sew it to an actual pillow form. You could cut them out and then re-sew them or you can basically do neither <laughs> and so I kind of that's what I'm going to plan to do is do neither and the reason I'm not going to do either is because I kind of think it gives it that flower sack kind of look with it and I like that and now again you don't have to do that you can do um, whatever you want if you want it to be a more clean look now when you look through this you can still see the image a little bit but don't worry about that because it's going to be filled with stuffing about the time it's filled with stuffing and you have your image on here not gonna see it so it, so it's absolutely perfect right so the uh, next thing is is basically you're just going to take your design and you're going to um, center it wherever on your um your can on your pillow yeah i keep calling it a canvas bag it's gonna be pillow now and uh, wherever on your pillow you would like so maybe it's up towards the front maybe it's in the center maybe it's in the, in the middle wherever wherever you like now, once you have your um, image where you want it, and then depending on the method that you're using, I'm going to go and put this in my heat press and press it down. And if you are using heat press, I'm going to use it at 315 for 15 seconds. That's what I'm going to do for this one. Now, if you're not using a heat press, then you would want to do whatever. At this stage, you would want to do whatever you... Um, you're doing to get your image to your to your back so again you can paint it you can stencil it you can print out a stencil you can print out an iron on you guys you know leave me a comment and, and let me know what you guys end up doing because there's so many different options for this but I'm gonna go take it and heat press it okay it's kind of dark and over here but um I do want to say that you're going to want to press it to whatever the manufacturer of your vinyl says to press it out. I'm just using sizer, so I'm just using it at 315. But there are a lot of different um, different kinds and, and types and everything. So you do whatever um, is 
whatever your manufacturer recommends. And then again, um, I one minus hot peel. So once it's done, I'm just going to peel it off. But if yours is cold peel, you'll of course have to wait and do that. So again, super easy. <laughs> So now this is what it looks like and now it's just time to fill up our bow. Okay, so once it is all stuffed, it is time to sew it up or hot glue it up or fuse it up or however you want to close it. The only thing is close your bag up. It is all sewn up. Look at that. How cute that is. Oh my gosh. Let's move it out so I can take a picture for you guys. So cute. I have this old rocking chair on my front porch, which is where I wanted to put it. Oh my gosh, guys. So cute. I absolutely love it. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to hit like and subscribe for more craft projects, Dollar Tree projects. I can't wait to see you guys. Bye.